Hey guys, Stan is here. Today I'm gonna answer some of your questions as well as drink some coffee. Cheers! Ben Bauman, why was the first Operation Pass so good and the second so bad? Operations are a new feature for us. We haven't done such things in the past and we're still searching for the best approach. The first season of Operations was in many ways focused on the new players, so players from Champion League completed it too fast. In the second season of Operations, we hit the sweet spot from the terms of progression. In the third season, we tweak the rewards and change the final price to a more meta robot, Leech. The fourth season of Operations will bring a couple of more experiments, including mind-blowing remodels of Halo and Phantom. Just check them out, our designers did a wonderful job and new community robot Cerberus that will be available at the end of free track. We will continue tweaking operations and hopefully by the season 5 or 6 we'll find the ideal balance. So stay tuned for more. When are you gonna make Spanish bots and are there going to be Egyptian robots? First of all, we read all of your suggestions about new robots and weapons on Reddit, Facebook and other social media. Right now we don't have Egyptian or Spanish robots in mind, or do we? Though you've already seen the new Indian robot Ravana, based on Indian mythology, and we definitely don't want to stop there. Thomas Repovs. How much oil is needed for the Aujun engine? What kind of food is best for Loki? Aujun flies because of love of all these players without anti-stealth module out there, and Loki feeds on shouts like Get out of stealth, you little green mother Rashid Fatmi. Why don't you make a rule that no one can have more than two same bots in a hangar? Honestly, I don't think it will balance the game, rather impose additional limitations on the players, as well as reduce tactical decisions and gameplay possibilities. So, longevity Nguyen. Are you a woman? No. John Hu. Stan. Can Pixonic stop creating new bots and weapons for at least half a year? We've got so many ideas in our backlog, so that if we stop for half a year, I'm afraid our designers and game designers will just blow up from the desire of creating something. By the way, we've just discussed Spanish robots and Egyptian robots. How can we make them if we stop? What do you eat in your office? Well, I usually drink a lot of black coffee and eat little Russian cheesecake is called sirniki. By the way, that's one of my favorite breakfasts. Van Chikaka, when are you gonna film outdoors? How about now? So here we are in the heart of Moscow, just near Pixon headquarters, and winter is surprisingly warm this year, I tell you. By the way, both Bolshoi Theater and Red Square are just a stone throw away from here, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Alexander Chunchukov. Why don't you match players by the last 50 games damage dealt? Unfortunately, this system can be easily abused. Just imagine, for example, someone can enter battles with only Cossacks, deal some damage, leave, and keep their stats down and then reap apart players from the lower leagues. Bad story. When is 25% discount on all upgrades coming? And where is Upgrade Overdrive? Recently, we had several sudden Upgrade Overdrive weekends and they went really well. So expect more surprises like that in the future. Just wait for the news. We always post them on Facebook. Zoran Tessar. When are we going to get new maps? For this year, we plan two new maps. The first one, Factory, you've already seen on the test server in draft version, and it will come to the game in the first half of 2020. The second one was teased in Cerberus video and is gonna be a community map. So just like with Cerberus, its different aspects will be chosen by you. So don't miss it. Sabir Abdi. When are we gonna have a voice chat feature in the game? We don't plan any chat features in 2020, so the best option is to use Discord. By the way, do you want us to share the most interesting and biggest War Robots Discord channels on our official pages? If yes, tell us in the comments. Chris Thomas How does the Leech's ability work when it goes through walls, rocks and other structures? <laughs> you know what, actually we've got a 5 page long document describing how and why Leech's ability work from a lore standpoint. But the best person to explain it is the author of this document, so Eric, the floor is yours. Hi. So, uh, in a nutshell, uh, Leech ability doesn't damage enemy robot. Uh, it rather hacks it. Uh, so, uh, Leech collects data about damage taken and transfer it to the enemy diagnostic system. 
A diagnostic system thinks that there isn't coming damage out of nowhere, though actually there is none, uh, and try to fix it. And what happens when you are trying to fix something working? It breaks. So it's kinda like um, human immunity trying to damage healthy tissues while suffering from the lupus. Kinda like this. So what to stand? Jose Ocaso. Can you guys make a robot with uppercut physical attack that pushes enemies in front of it away? That's a totally ridiculous idea. And the one that I like personally. I love creative crazy stuff. So maybe someday. Call up Mac General. How soon is cross-platform coming? <clears throat> I'm happy to inform you that the cross-platform is one of the first features we want to implement in 2020. It will come in several iterations though, as it's a complex feature. Just imagine. We have to make a common matchmaking. Then merge squads and friend systems so that you can play with people from other platforms. Another problem is that some of the IDs are duplicated. So yeah, it's quite difficult. But all in all, we are aiming for the second half of February. Marco Luis Reyes Barto. How's the community robot stand? Cerberus is already in the game. It has come to live server with 5.7 update and will be available at the end of free track when the fourth season of operations starts in February. So try it yourself and tell us how it goes. Luigi Green. Why robots are coffee? Why choose when you can have both? The first one and the second. And they complement each other so well.